Hello and welcome to Gerbil Space Room. Today we're taking a look at OPT Space Plane Parts, which is the mod that made these planes that you are currently seeing, as well as the one I'm actually about to fly, which is over here, and we're going ahead and throttling up, turning off the brakes, and firing everything, and it has several rocket engines and several regular engines, and I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to use them more efficiently than this, but I don't care right now because right now I'm just gonna be like, look at the cool things! Also, you'll notice that I'm having collision effects massively on the wheels scraping on the ground as I go to take off. That's because collision effects does not recognize these wheels as wheels. Hopefully that'll be updated soon. That's not this mod's fault, or at least I don't think it's this mod's fault. I think that's collision effects that needs to be updated to say that. Then again, I don't know, really. I don't know how these mods are supposed to interact with each other. We are going really fast. I guess that's what happens when you fire rocket engines and jet engines on the ground here instead of, you know, just the jet engines. Pretty sure there's action groups and instructions I'm supposed to follow to make this work, but uh, too bad. I'm looking at this right now, it looks like this thing is just a ton of fuel, because this, well it doesn't say what this is, when I right click on it, it nothing happens, but this is a ton of fuel, that's an adapter with some, actually not, not fuel in it, it has some super calm, super calm, whatever that is, super compressed air? Super compress, it's super compressed, whatever it is, and... Let's see, back here, oh yes, we have the linear aerospike rocket, which is freaking cool. I mean, look at that, it's it's a linear aerospike rocket. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's a real thing, and this is modeled like the real thing, and it's freaking awesome. And we got these opt airy engines, which are pretty cool little rockets, it looks like. Oh wow, look at the specific impulse on those. Holy crap. The specific impulse just keeps going up, and the thrust is really good too. And then we have, of course, the turbo turbo ramjets, which are amazing, and have automatic switching, it looks like. And we haven't run out of fuel yet, but they're probably going to run out at some point soon. And in fact, we're going up really, really fast. This is actually, might actually make it into space, which doesn't make any sense, considering I've flown it in, like, the most efficient way you can, in the efficient way you can, but we're still making it into space. I mean, at the very least, we're making it into space. We might even make orbit. I highly, highly doubt it. But we just might. I don't know. It's interesting. Are these still still using intake air? It still says they're using intake air. I think one of them's just given out. Yeah, they, they gave out a moment ago, and now they're on rocket fuel. And ooh, listen to that beautiful sound. Also, we're kind of flipping out now. Um... And they've just blown up because I wasn't paying attention to overheat. I also have the damage effects mod, so now we have the damage effects of that. Also, that one seems to be stuck on. I, I just turned them off, but this one seems to be stuck on. Nope, it's off. It just, um, failed a bit. Interesting how the effects are, like, keeping centered on us even though we're still moving very high up in the air. Um, looks like RCS, like we don't have any RCS of any kind it looks like, because I'm trying to stop us doing what we're doing and it's not working primarily because I was actually holding the wrong button and actually increasing the spin, so shh, shh, I'm a professional. I'm actually gonna, aww, it says we're under acceleration. Well then, maybe if I can stop this, hold on, let's Let's deactivate this, first of all. If I can... If I can... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shut down. Shut down. Did I successfully shut it down? No. There we go. Now I have. Okay. Hopefully these have thrust vectoring. Do they? Uh... Looks like they don't. So actually, that's not helping us at all. Maybe if I... First of all, turn that off. Oh, there we go. I got time warp to save our lives. There we go. So now we are in space with a damaged space plane. That... That went very well. Let's activate these engines. What's the worst that could happen? We would screw up because we, we are have off-center everything. Right, I'm gonna fast forward until we come back down. Which, fortunately, isn't going to take too long, because we did kind of just go straight up really fast and then come right back down. 
Um, at this point, I should try and direct this thing into the Airstream, considering we're going to come into the Airstream. Yes, um, let me let's see, toggle toggle mode. Uh, what mode is it in? It's in Ramjet, Turbojet, Ramjet, Turbojet. There we go. And I'm going to tell it to activate. And I'm going to tell these to deactivate. And then, <coughs> excuse me. And then we're actually going to fly it on just those. And actually, let's shut down the aerospike as well. And we're going to try and fly it on the turbojets and these rockets over here. And we're going to see how well that goes. But first of all, it's time for us to hit the lower atmosphere at such a high speed as to cause flame effects. That should happen any moment now. Or we can just kind of spin out of control. And there we go. We're starting to get those effects. We're also flying backwards. Um, pretty sure... That's not part of the intended design specs. Ah, crap. You know what this is? I just remembered that I have Ferrum Aerospace Research installed, and that's why everything just went to shit. Because we had an aerodynamic failure. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. Um, we're doomed now, and we have a, a black cockpit like you can't see anything in here unfortunately they don't have the IVAs done yet this is a work in progress mod but oh well let's go switch to one of those other craft we have sitting by the runway well as soon as this spirals to its doom I'm gonna EVA one Kerbal it's not gonna make any difference because they're still gonna hit the water at a very high speed but yeah so let's go back to the space center now and from here we can select one of the other things we have here such as the Arrow SSTO, which, no wait, this isn't the Arrow. Oh, I thought I switched to the Arrow. I actually switched to the Atari, which is a cool name, by the way. Uh, let's see, that's not the, this is the Arrow with these giant ass engines. I forget what these are called, Dark Drives. Yes, Dark Drives, which are, as you might imagine, a bit dark. And let's turn on the steering. Unfortunately, the steering is disabled on all of these by default. These are the stock craft that come with the pack, by the way. That's why I'm flying these to show you the parts. And let's see, let's turn off the brakes. And these engines are overpowered on purpose because they're supposed to be like, ooh, super futuristic engines. And let's hope we don't like horribly die right now because we might just horribly die when we hit this bump in fact i'm turning off the end oh well we're taking off now oh and i've broken the engines so yeah let's just uh roll it over or not i tried to roll it over that didn't really work let's take off again oh no it's not going to take off it's just going to skid well let's raise the landing gear then and we can watch how those landing gear look as they rise up oh and we actually took off momentarily and then kind of crashed and broke and now we're skidding along while lifting up and that was actually a really excellent looking crash there. That is beautiful. I think you can agree that this is a very beautiful crash, right? You can slow down any minute now. I'm actually going to have Bill jump out. And skid along. It's funny how having him jump out actually made it stop. I mean, he hasn't stopped, but it stopped. You, you can stop now. Alright, let's go back to the Space Center. And this time we'll launch an arrow directly from the runway. Wow, that's a interesting loading bug this time around. Um, it's taking a lot longer than the usual loading bugs. Which makes me think it might have horribly broken. And now we're back again for the third time. This time I shall load and launch the arrow from the SPH in the hopes that that does not break everything. Looks like things didn't get horribly broken. So now it's time to take off with this ridiculous thing and hopefully not break its engines off at the back like before. It has dark balls of dark energy that is, I imagine, quite dark. That is how it flies. And I imagine Ferrum Aerospace would, um, now they're invisible. Why is... oh. Oh, we're we're out of we're out of fuel Al already. W what? I'm rather confused. Did, how how much fuel did we only had the tiniest bit of fuel on this thing? And and it's all gone already. 
just in that takeoff run. That's uh, it's quite bad. Also, Barrow Aerospace is having fun with this design. Ah, uh, yes. Um, we're uh fucked. Except, I remembered while I was off restarting this, actually just now, that I have better buoyancy installed. Meaning we might survive this horrible crash into the the water. Um, of course it is the updated version. So it is, again, harder to survive, not ridiculously easy like it was in that mod spotlight I did for it. So, we shall see the survival rate from crashing like that is, you know, pretty much the same, except that time when we crashed, because we had that, we actually died slowly instead of quickly. Can you get up? Oh no, it's this bug! It's this bug where they're, like, able to move around, but they're ragdolling. <laughs> I've never actually ran into this bug myself. I've just seen other people with it. It's freaking hilarious, though. Oh, yes. That will make a wonderful gif. Now that we've horribly broken things a bit more, I'm gonna go fly this. And I'm basically gonna take a few quick moments to demonstrate some of the parts we have. We have, you know, adapters, various cockpits. We have an intake here, a RAM intake. Uh, this is the same turbo jets we were using, the aerospike on the back, of course, the linear aerospike. We have some cargo bays. Oh yes, and they open on the top and the bottom, which is especially cool because you can they, they actually open both ways at once. You don't have to choose whether it's a down or up, it just you can do it both ways. Oh yes, and we have this thing here, an inline docking port, which is really weird because you deploy the docking port like that and then you can actually extend the clampatron further out. I'm guessing it's so that you can use this actually with a big docking port or a small docking port depending on how you set that up. I'm, I'm guessing, of course, I don't know for sure. I haven't tested it myself or looked it up because I am professional like that. Uh, this, oh yes, we have this little connector here with some intakes in the, oh, it has spots for intakes and the shot cone is actually just a stock shot cone. That's, that's really cool. Does this have an IVA? No, it does not, unfortunately. Oh yes, we have this little adapter back here which gives us space to stick four engines on the back, which is pretty cool. And allows you to make something that looks like this, which is amazing. Uh, we also have these various wing pieces, as you might have noticed, which have spaces where you can fit in the stock elevons. And it's all, it's all designed to fit well with the stock parts, and also based on the Space Plane Plus mod, which is, you know, where the, stock, the current stock parts came from. We also have this mobile lab, as you might have noticed, on the other vessel. And uh, no EVA, I mean IVA for this one either, but we have this... I don't know what it's called. It's called a J plane space complex. Space. Co eh. J space plane cockpit. It makes me think of a duck. Like, it just makes me think of a duck. I love this design. I really do. It's. I really do. It's. It's very nice. I'm gonna fire up the engines. I probably shouldn't. I mean, you know, trying to take off where, where we're aimed right now. Like, if I. If I. Oh, the landing gear is unlocked. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. We'll just turn around real fast, and um, it's not turning very fast anymore. Um, I think we're gonna hit that thing. Let's go up. Let's stop. Let's let's turn. Let's let's. Uh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die right now. We're gonna. Oh oh. We're gonna die when we hit that bump. Oh no, we didn't. Okay, let's go in the air. We're in the air. Let's go. Let's go. Space. Space now. Space now. Fly. Fly. Fly more. Fly. 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 Minor stalling. Fly. Fly more. Fly more. Fly more. We have lots of lift. Fly more. Fly more. Fly more. Fly. More. Up. There we go. We're going up now, so <laughs> I'll race the landing gear. And, uh, and go cry. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space with the little tiny stalling wings. Oh yes, and better buoyancy. Let's go ahead and do a water landing. Oh, eh, eh, hold on. Assuming I can. One. Let's do that. Oh yeah. This will not go well for everyone involved. But hopefully some will survive. Uh, looks like everything's good here. Yeah, the stalling definitely just completely removes the lift tint. That kind of sucks. I was noting that in the reviews video I did yesterday. Oh uh, shit, we're, we're falling kind of too much. Okay, let's just turn off the engine 
and hope for the best. Is there any way we can turn any harder? Not really. Nope, we just have to dive at this speed and hope we don't die. Speeding up now. It's not good. Yeah. And everybody died. Once again, thanks for watching. See you in space with the new space plane parts as provided by this mod. Go make some rad space pl planes. This cockpit makes me think of a of a avatar, like the movie Avatar. Move, move! I want to move it. It won't let me move it. It makes me think of that cockpit, though. The Avatar movie. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be inspired by that. Why is broken? Ah, is broken. Game, game slightly broken. Okay. Alright, and now that I'm back in the game, let's launch from the runway again. The arrow. Hey, it's doing the same effect, th only this time with sound effects. Please don't break again. I'm going to be really annoyed if I have to start this over again. Looks like I'm going to have to start this over again. That's that's rather annoying. Like, really rather annoying. Now it's not responding before even getting to the title screen. Oh, all you've done is help me, my friend!